inside of me In this sense that I can look at you with love Seeing all that I can learn Can you stay and I will grow Hello students, Miss Dewey is here. How are you all? I hope that you are doing great. Welcome back with GST Online Learning and we are already in unit 12. In this unit, I want you to be a little doctor that help your patient to get well soon. Yes, I want you to be a little doctor. Alright, are you ready to wear your doctor coat? Alright, let's call the ambulance and take the patient to the hospital. And before you become a doctor, I want you to know some illness, some little illness that you can find every day. But I hope that you can take care of your health so you are far away from these illnesses. Alright, first, listen and repeat. Headache, earache, Feel dizzy, cold, feel sick, cough, drink medicine, stomach ache, sore throat. Hayo, which illness that you hate most? Mana di antaranya yang paling kamu gak suka? Miss Dwi doesn't like all. I don't want to have them. Now, please repeat one more time. Headache. Earache, feel dizzy, cold, feel sick, cough, drink medicine, stomach ache, sore throat. Alright, now I want you to play to be a little doctor and then I will tell you how to do it. Biasanya kalau orang sakit itu kan datang berobat ke dokter Nah dokter biasanya menyarankan Nanti kamu nggak boleh ini ya Kamu sebaiknya begini ya Kamu nggak boleh begitu Sebaiknya begini Alright Nah I want you to be a great doctor Miss Dewi maunya kamu jadi dokter yang keren Yang benar yang ngasih saran ke pasiennya dengan baik dan benar So what you should use is Should and shouldn Say it one more time, please. Should. Should. Now, shouldn. Shouldn. Or should not. But you can say it shouldn, just like American or British people. Let's get ready, doctor. First, headache. Headache atau sakit kepala. For the example, kamu sebagai dokternya, kamu menyarankan, you should take a medicine, kamu sebaiknya minum obat. Dan saran yang nggak boleh dilakukan seperti, you shouldn't work hard, kamu sebaiknya nggak kerja keras dulu, because you got headache. Should untuk menyarankan yang sebaiknya dilakukan agar lekas sembuh, dan shouldn't adalah untuk yang sebaiknya nggak dilakukan supaya cepat sembuh juga. If someone say shouldn't, sebaiknya kamu nggak melakukan itu, karena nanti bisa memperparah keadaan. Alright, should and shouldn't. Let's continue, doctor. This is Jonathan and he's got earache. What should you say to Jonathan? Should or shouldn't? Listen to loud music. Dia sakit kuping. Terus, should or shouldn't listen to loud music? Aha, I do agree with you. Jonathan shouldn't listen to loud music. Nanti tambah sakit kupingnya. Next, feel dizzy. Feel dizzy. Kalau bahasa Indonesia artinya sempoyongan. Sakit kepala tapi sempoyongan kayak orang kurang darah. Nah, what should you say to her? You should sit down or you shouldn't sit down. Because she's got... She's feel dizzy. Yes, you should sit down. Thank you, doctor. Oh, oh, what happened with mom? Mom, just like this. Hachoo! Hachoo! Sneeze. Yes, mom got cold. All right, mom, go to market now. Hmm, should or shouldn't? 
Children, I think. Yes, because mom got cold. And then how about how about taking medicine? Yes, mom should take a medicine. Students, oops, sorry. Doctor, I got cough, cough. Batuk-batuk terus, dok. What should I do? Drink cold water or shouldn't drink cold water? Please tell me. Thank you. I shouldn't drink cold water because I want to get well soon. Will you tell me that I should cover when I cough? Harus tutup mulut kalau habi lagi batuk? Wah, little Rafael feel sick. Atau lagi demam, feel sick, nggak enak badan. Feel sick itu artinya lagi nggak enak badan. So, Rafael should play around or shouldn't play around. Boleh main-main nggak -main kalau lagi demam, nggak enak badan? Yep, thank you. Shouldn't play around. Oh my God, everyone got sick. Semua orang lagi pada sakit. Hmm, mungkin lagi musim kali ya, habis musim hujan. And Julia just got sore throat. Sakit tenggorokan. <coughs> Something like that. <coughs> nggak batuk, nggak demam, tapi sakit tenggorokan. Kayak ada durinya di tenggorokan. So, what should you say to Julia? You are the doctor. Julia should drink warm water. Yes. How about eat spicy food? Do you think that she should or she shouldn't eat spicy food? Ah, I do agree with you. Yes, she shouldn't eat spicy food right now. Please wait until she get well soon. Right? Do you agree with me? This is Hans and he holds his stomach. And he's because he's got stomach ache. Sakit perut dia. So, what should you tell to Hans? How about eat spicy food? Should or shouldn't? Thank you. I think, yes, you are a great, great doctor. Thank you for helping me. Doctor, please don't give me medicine. I hate pills. Aku nggak suka minum obat. But, because you are a great doctor, you will tell your patient to take the medicine because it will help them to get well really soon. And they will play around after, they can play around after they are healthy. So, you say, uh, should or shouldn't forget to take a medicine. See, our discussion today is so easy, right? Yes. Thank you for being great doctor. As usual, Miss Dewey will say that many times because you help the student to get better really soon. Now, doctor, because you are still a little doctor, please help. Please do your homework because in the future, I want you to be a doctor who speak English really well. Do class book and also your workbook. And then, please don't forget to practice speaking. Alright, students, I will see you in the next session, in the next meeting, in the next occasion. I will see you in the next time. Bye! Seeing eyes of mine you see There are no trees inside of me In this desert I can look